friends, my name is Blake Shook and I've gone from two hives in my backyard to over 30,000 hives. And the goal for me in these videos is to take all the lessons I've learned along the way and distill them down into practical tips for you as a small scale beekeeper. How do you tell when your honey flow is over? You know, it can be frustrating because every year is a little bit different. You know, flowers and bees don't follow the books and the calendars. You know, every year the honey flow may end two weeks early or go two weeks later. So how do you know that your honey flow is over and you can harvest your honey? There's really a couple main ways to do that. You can look at what's going on inside your hive and you can look at what's going on outside your hive. If all your flowers have pretty much dried up and died, your honey flow is probably over. This is where it's helpful to get to know your local forage and understand what flowers are your main honey producers. When those main flowers start to die off, you know your honey flow is coming to an end. But the biggest clues also occur inside your hive. One thing that I often do when it's coming near towards the end of the honey flow, or if I'm wondering if the honey flow has even started, it works both ways, um, I, can, I will often go out to a hive, open it up, and I'll find a frame of honey or frame with uh, lots of honey on it, which is not the case in this box. And I'll set that frame of honey to the side for about 20 or 30 minutes. And if there's no honey flow, then after 20 minutes or so, bees are gonna start robbing that frame. And that's a clue to me that, oh, the honey flow either hasn't started yet or it's over. So here's a frame with a good amount of honey on it. Ideally you want uncapped honey, but I'm gonna shake the bees off of it. Now I'm just gonna set this frame to the side in the partial shade. If it's in the middle of summer, the sun can actually melt that honey. So I want it in the partial shade or melt the wax. And I'm just gonna leave it there for 20 minutes, do my other inspections. And if I see robber bees all over that frame, it's a good sign the honey flow has ended. And I'm gonna shake those robber bees off and quickly put it back into the hive. The other thing you can do is you can do a shake test. So when you're going through your honey supers, pretend that this is a honey super, not a brood box. You can get your frames that are full of honey, uncapped honey, uh, and you can shake them. You can gently shake the bees off and then you hold the frame horizontally and you shake it. And you can see if any nectar rains out of those frames. If a lot of nectar is raining out of, these, of your frame, your honey isn't cured yet and it's not ready to harvest. But if you're shaking and nothing comes out, it's pretty much cured and it's ready to harvest. If your bees are actively eating the honey, so instead of frames full of open nectar, the bees are uncapping the cells and eating the honey, that's a sign it's over. So you can see on this frame, all of these cells are full of uncapped honey. And so that's a good indicator that they're still bringing a little bit in. Once they start uncapping this capped honey and eating it, that's when you really know that, hey, the flow's over. They've switched from capping and storing honey to uncapping and eating the honey. So that's a great indicator too that the honey flow is over and you're ready to harvest. So check on what's going on inside your hive, check on what's going on outside the hive, and that's combined will tell you whether or not the flow is over. If this is helpful, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.